All right, today we're going to talk about Samuel. Now, we just talked about Hannah, Samuel's mommy. So now we're going to talk about Samuel when he was still a boy. You know, the Lord called him in uh, the night time. It was like he called him three times, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Now, Samuel thought that it was Eli calling him until finally, like third time, Eli was like, you know, go back. And this time, just say, Lord, I'm here and listen. And he did. Now, what he told him, uh, what when I say he, I mean the Lord, told Samuel was not good. He told him that Eli's sons have just done terrible things. They've been sleeping with the people. They've been, you know, women. They've been stealing. They just, they're terrible. And Eli knows that. And I'm going to have to bring judgment on them now. And so he was telling Samuel this. Now, remember, Samuel was staying with Eli because that's where Hannah had taken him. So he had a great respect and love and appreciation for Eli. Okay. And he had to tell him this terrible news that his sons were going to be cut off, that the Lord was going to destroy them. For what they had done so the next morning when he got up Eli basically said okay Samuel uh, tell me what the Lord said to you and just don't hold it back so he told him everything and Eli's response was what a good prophet's response should be which is the Lord is good he knows what he's doing let him do it and uh, so Samuel's emotions I would say were was probably a little dread I mean, you know, he dreaded to tell his mentor this. And sometimes we're in that situation, aren't we? We see something that's wrong and we know it's wrong, but we don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers and we don't want to get involved and we just want to stay out of it. And as Christians, we don't want to meddle and not, you don't want to meddle. That's true. But sometimes you have to speak up. You know, I know uh, my mother tells a story that one time she had a real issue with some people that um, had wronged her. And her friend told her, Thelma, I think you'll get well if you uh, forgive them, if you put that aside. And she kind of like was like, whatever. And she finally was like to the Lord, okay, I'll forgive them, but you have to bring them in, my, in front of my face and blah, 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 blah. And he did, of course. <laughs> and she had to go up to them and say, I forgive you. That's something, you know. So that's dread. I mean, that's dread. Okay, it is dread. It is also dread to correct someone that we know is wrong. And we have to still do it in a loving way. But those are emotions that we have to, we have to hurdle through in order to be faithful, to show ourselves faithful, to do what's right. And right is doing what's faithful, being an agent of faith. That's who Samuel was and I say is because no one dies in the in the kingdom of God. You know what they are. He said, "I'm not the I'm not the father of the dead, but I'm the father of the living." So Samuel is still up there. Okay. So anyway, hope you got something out of this one. Bye bye. Shucks. <laughs>